This project aims to do robot localization on Pi, which forms the basis of a moving car or walking robot that can fly indoors autonomously. We just need a Pi, RP LiDAR A1 and power bank for this project. Nowadays, mobile robots replace humans even in indoor environments like hotels and restaurants. But how do they navigate dynamic indoors? Environmental learning and self-localization of a mobile robot is usually done using variations of SLAM algorithms. SLAM algorithms use LIDAR and IMU data to simultaneously locate the robot in real time and generate map of surrounding landmarks such as buildings, trees, walls, etc. Here you can see the Pi is being assembled with LIDAR on top of a 3D printed mount. SLAM is the core algo used in robot navigation, autonomous cars, robotic mapping, AR, VR, etc. especially when the GPS location is unavailable. You can see the assembled gadget here. If you do robot localization on this, then it is easy to make a moving car or walking robot that can fly indoors autonomously. Now let's see SLAM in action. The project is deployed on a Raspberry Pi integrated with rotating RP LiDAR A1 running on a 5V 3A battery. I would take the gadget over my head so that my body won't come in the way of laser beams and interfere environment perception. Then I am taking the gadget across different rooms to demonstrate dynamic localization of the robot while simultaneously recomputing the environment map. Here, what you see is the visualization of the changing lidar point cloud as the robot moves forward. This is not a headless connection to the Pi. This is a remote server on which MQTT client is subscribed to the lidar map topic. I have rerouted the real-time visualization from Pi to the remote machine using MQTT. The robot angle, position and the 2D map are encoded as a byte array that is decoded by the MQTT client deployed in the remote server. Additionally, the LiDAR point cloud map is being saved every 3 seconds in Pi itself. We will take a look at the complete trajectory at the end of this demo. So here you can see the battery powered portable unit is being taken across different rooms of the house. The obstacles and walls are being sensed and a real time trajectory along with the map is being transmitted to the remote server and is also stored in the SD card of the Pi. The trajectory gives accurate information about your location and relative position with respect to obstacles so that route planning and re-planning can be done on the go. Here you can see the saved maps and trajectory that the robot has just traversed. The high dense linear point cloud in the LIDAR maps represents stable obstacles like walls and cupboards. So we can use algorithms like Herb Transform to find the best fit line on these linear point clouds to generate floor maps, making the robot more familiar with the environment the next time it travels around the same surroundings. 